This is Gospel Awakening, a viewer-supported television show filled with motivating inspiration. Now, enjoy the show. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another glorious time with Gospel Awakening. I'm your host, Bishop Terrence Jenkins, and... I'm Deborah Blackwell. <laughs> Good morning. It is a great morning, and listen, Deborah Jenkins Blackwell, tell everybody who the third face is on this show. For those who don't know, they better ask somebody. They better <laughs> ask somebody. Right. right. I know. We got an awesome show today. Listen, in the gospel arena, you have Kirk Franklin, you have Marvin Sapp, you got Yolanda Adams, Tasha Cobbs. But today, tell it, tell we it. We have an artist whose music have have moved across not only the RB charts but the religious charts. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has he has released four albums. Whoa, Lord. he's still making positive <laughs> movement right now in the gospel arena. We're glad to have with us today a pastor, a songwriter, mm -hmm. right. a producer, an author. I tell you, <laughs> I tell you. Good morning to our friend Will Beckton. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for having me, Bishop Terrence and Deborah. This is just a privilege to be able to share with you all. I thank you for allowing me to come on and bless the yes. people. Tonight. Just tell us what are you doing now. Well, I'm, to be honest, I am like everyone else, trying to uh, navigate uh, myself in this time. I mean, who would have ever imagined that we would be uh, in a pandemic and uh, we haven't been into the building of the church because we know that the church is not the building, but the facility for, for four months. And so, uh, like every other pastor, like every other gospel artist, uh, I'm just listening to the Holy Ghost and trying to navigate it myself around to figure out how can we keep advancing the gospel and the preached word and, and also the, the word of God in Psalms. So I, I commend you all for what you are doing, for taking your your your, your ministry and now it's it's virtual. And uh, this is a wonderful thing. I see the logo behind you. You're still looking good. Y'all looking y'all looking like church and here I come on with an Adidas shirt on, you know. See, you know, I caught up with the time. See? Hey, we, we got to play the part. We got to play the part. And that's, and that's what I loved about you, uh, William Beckton, when we first met you. I said, you know what? You're, you're a pretty cool guy, you know? Because people are used to say, I'm going to do that. You know what? If I had known, I would have worn my T-shirt, too. <laughs> well, and my, and my still a jersey. There you go. I remember, you know, it reminds me of a, a story early on in ministry. You know, I, I'm originally from Washington, D.C. And when I relocated to Charlotte, the pastor, you know, I had all my suits lined up and <laughs> everything just right. And, and I had this big crowd, my first service and the second service. The, what, what, but the second service, I noticed the numbers went down a little bit from the first service. So you know what? I put those suits in the closet and I went out and got my football jerseys and I started preaching in my football jerseys. There you go. Oh, no. If you tell me it worked, I'm wearing me one next Sunday. It worked. Ah, <laughs> don't you tell me it worked. Hey, hey, but Bishop, watch this. No. The problem is, the football jerseys was just expensive, as expensive as the suits. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I mean, actually, they, they were more than my suits. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to talk a whole lot more to William Beckton, uh, all of his accomplishments, all of his awards. Look, just look behind him, everybody. I mean, he's oh, just, and he's got some more awards under his knee. You haven't, <laughs> we haven't shown you that yet, but you'll see that later. But for right now, we want you all to enjoy a, a, a song that you have heard for many years and have <laughs> loved it. Be encouraged. It is by the one and only William Beckton. I know it seems like midnight. Well, it's hard to see. You got to. But you gonna make it. You know? He'll make it all right. No, no. It's gonna work out. You know what I mean? I wanted to remix it.
impossible to see. Talking to the children of the day. God is going to work it out if you just believe. Losing him is the hardest thing I've ever been through. But Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home is doing so much for my family I can't begin to put it into words. And because we pre-planned with Steve last year, we ensured that all of his wishes are being met. I don't have to worry about anything. My family can relax at this difficult time and celebrate his life. Won't you give us a call today? We would be honored to provide you the trust, service, and compassion you rightfully deserve in your time of need. That is our promise here at the Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home. Gospel Awakening is a viewer-supported television program, and here's how you can keep gospel television on the air for years to come. Send your generous tax-deductible contribution via Cash App to Gospel Awakening NC through PayPal to contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or mail your contributions to Gospel Awakening 4584 US 70 Business West, Clayton NC 27520. Thank you for your support. Gospel Awakening is the best way to get the most exposure for your business. Whether you're in the medical field, sales, real estate, food, or ministry, make your business grow on the Gospel Awakening television show. For commercial information, call us at 984-239-8554 or visit our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Here's how you can be the next talent on Gospel Awakening. Register on our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Send an email request to us at contact 
at gospelawakeningnc.org or call us at 984-239-8554 and we'll register you in person. Let Gospel Awakening be the avenue that takes your ministry across the world. Welcome back to Gospel Awakening, everyone. Hey, listen, I hope you're not just tuning in. My God, if you are, you have missed a great time. We have William Beckton with us this morning. <laughs> it is a blessing to be here with you all. Hey, listen, we got to stop laughing. I'm going to laugh right out this chair and mess with you all this morning. <laughs> Man, I, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to go in my church with a football uniform on. I, I, <laughs> it, 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 it will preach now. It will preach. <laughs> well, you know, we've got a slew of questions to ask you. Viewers are like, come on, tell us more. Tell us more. Uh, yes, yes. Go ahead, Deborah. You got it. We just finished listening to the remix yeah. of Be Encouraged. Pastor. Tell us, now, in 1995, I believe, mm -hmm. was the original Be Encouraged. Is that correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that song itself, I mean, just skyrocketed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, it did. Um, I mean, it's so smooth. I love that song. Great so tell us, if you will, um, what, what inspired you to do a remix right. on that song? Yeah. Well, if you, if you recall uh, 1995, we were in a series of uh, traumatic events. There was the Oklahoma bombing that took place in April of that year. We were in the middle of a heat wave and the country just needed to feel like God was still in the midst of everything. Uh, we needed an encouraging word. And so uh, there was a, uh, an album that I did at that time, album or CD. You can really tell I'm old school. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a project uh, yeah. entitled Broken. Broken. And one of the songs on that record uh, was Be Encouraged because the nation needed healing at that time. Fast forward 25 years and we find ourselves in a pandemic. The Lord spoke to me and says, now go back, hold that music and go back and give and remix Be Encouraged. The people need to be encouraged. I used the gentleman on this record as his name is Ali Ali Wilson. He's a legend. Most of you know him from The Temptations. He, he was a former lead singer uh, of The Temptations. He took David Ruff, Ruffins and Dennis Edwards spot with The Temptations. A legend, legendary vocalist, one of the most amazing vocalists of our time. Well, Ali passed away 10 years ago. And he did a session with me in 2000 that was just simply phenomenal. The things that he was saying on, the, uh, on that session, on that song, I just brought back and put it in being encouraged. So it's almost like he's prophesying to us from the other side. Wow. Uh, and so I kept the leads that were in the song and I used Ali in the second half and it was just a collage of just some wonderful things. Well, when I called his, his widow to make sure it was okay, she said, it's interesting that you're selling bring 25 years. And I said, yes. I said, uh, it will be 25 years, May the 30th. She said, wow, May the 30th, 10 years ago, was when Ali passed away. Yeah. And that's when I knew that God was in the midst, middle of all of this. And he when you said that, I had a question in my mind from the beginning. How do you come, when, you, when, when songs are coming to you, how do they come to you? Do you have a pad? Do you write? Do you keep a voice? Something? How do you do that? Songs come to me a variety of different ways. I say this. If you write only when you are inspired, you know, that's average writing. A real writer can write whenever he or she decides he wants or she wants okay. to write. All right. Okay. The Stellars. Talk to him, ask him the, the question you had specifically about the Stellars, Deborah. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> well, you oh, did, oh, did I already ask it? <laughs> you already, you already asked the question. <laughs> however, he can, however, he can pick up and start out with what is all that on that wall behind you? I know. You know, well, you know, during, during the pandemic, you know, when I realized I was going to have to do Zooms, because I will be honest with you, I thank the Lord for all the accolades that he's allowed me to, to, to uh, receive. I decided to hang some stuff up on the wall. So, you know, uh, th this is the, um, in 1997, I think uh, May, uh, November, October the 9th, Mayor Barry made 
that William Beckton Day in Washington, D.C., so he gave me a oh. proclamation, and that's what that award is. This is my gold record, um, The Wild, the Be Encouraged song that's on the gold record there. Awesome. Um, this is my uh, master's degree, bachelor's degree in theology, master's degree in theology. Thank the Lord for that. Um, the first article that was written about me in Billboard magazine had it framed. Um, and then on this side, that is my CSAC award, you know, uh, for my writing. And right under that is my license to a a pastoral fellowship, Harvest International Pastoral Fellowship. I always keep that because, again, on days that you don't think that you're effective, sometimes yeah. you need to go back. That's, that That's was right. Israel's problem. They forgot what God did for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, I know you thought we for, I forgot this, but we have not forgotten. I said it earlier. You have some more awards up under your legs. <laughs> well, Pull well, them why, out. well, the funny thing <laughs> is, all of this was in the closet collecting <laughs> dust. And, and, and this is, you know, people ask me about this. But I, they were in the wall collecting dust. So I, I had to go back there and we get go. them. Because they were, I had to go find them. But these are the old, see, I'm old school. These were like the original Stella Awards. Ooh. This is what they originally looked like back in the day. They don't look like that anymore. And this got dust. You can't see it now. They're really dusty because I don't, I'll hold them up. But I thank the Lord for, for, for these, you know, uh, I keep them now because people will look at them and say, what are those? Star Wars. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah. This is the way it used to look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just like it, uh, most folks. That's like going back to the records you, you were talking yeah, about. Right? Exactly. <laughs> we, we, we were talking earlier during the break, you know, about Pastor Shirley Caesar. I'm sure she's got Three clauses full of the old Stellar Wars and the new Stellar Wars. So, so my two means nothing. I mean, she's got all of them on there, Robin. <laughs> now, I want to ask you something else. What is your next project? What do you have lined up next? Well, well, it's interesting you would ask me that because the Be Encouraged 2020 remix is the single to the new record, Broken 3. Now, the first Be Encouraged was the single for the first broken record. And then I met, I did a record in 2000, Broken 3, a uh, Broken 2 that no one heard. Uh, and so oh. the Lord told me to go back when I redid this, be encouraged, and to compile those broken records in a project called The Trilogy. So I'm releasing this summer a project called Broken 3, The Trilogy, it's all of the broken songs the original Be Encouraged, the Till the End that had Kenny Lattimore on it, the Joy in the Morning of the second uh, Be Encouraged record, and this one all combined. It's sort of an anthology record. Um, I think that in this time, artists need to own their own masters. And so I've been privileged to own the masters to all these all these records so I can pretty much do what I want to do with them. And I thank God. Sometimes uh, Great. we be able to empower ourselves, if you know what I mean. So awesome. I'm going to release this anthology record this summer, and I'm excited about what I believe the Lord is going to do with it. All Man, right. That's powerful. That is powerful. When, what's your timeline? Should August should be August, uh, maybe the last week in August. So it'll, we'll, it'll come, uh, we'll start publicizing it. Uh, in September, and then it'll be right in, in flow during the holiday season. Uh, I believe that word broken, that, that whole concept is what we need. We need revelation on that right now because we're experiencing a lot of broken things. Uh, yes, sir. You know, broken things up there in, in Washington and broken things <laughs> all around. So we need uh, some revelation Ooh. on that. My God, my God. I, I yeah. felt the quickening. When you <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bishop. All right, All right Bishop. <laughs> <Don't> yes. <do. laughs> well, you know who you can reach out to. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And William Beckton, it is okay. has been the greatest pleasure and honor that we could have imagined to have you on our show. We wish you the best. We're praying for you. And our platform is your platform. I promise you that. Yes. And, you, and we can hardly wait to see what's next. Can That's, hardly right. Wait. That's right. <laughs> Praise God, Bishop. It's a blessing. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. And to all of our viewers, we appreciate you. Because you support Gospel Awakening, we're able to continue doing what we do. Now, we want you to continue staying right there as we have continued to enjoy William Beckton. We hope and pray that you will continue supporting Gospel Awakening. God bless you.
don't know how to describe it. It's a little smooth jazz. It's a little R&B. It's, it's grown folks' love. You know, when I did this song, I wanted to capture the feelings of those who had gone through life and maybe experienced some bumps in the road in love and learning to love again. So it's, it's definitely a song of romance. It's, it's passion filled. It's quite different than any song that I've written before. It's, it's a love song and it's, it's very personal. Uh, I once was married, but I'm not now. I'm single. And I'm learning the love again. And so I'm writing about what I want my marriage to be. Will is a consummate pro. He is, his sound is elegant and he's very classy. And if you've ever gone to a Will Downing concert, it's amazing. I just combined multiple voices. What I thought women wanted to hear. What I thought men wanted to say. Um, what I wanted to say personally. And the collage of all those together birthed this what I think is an amazing piece. Everybody in an amazing love. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, amazing. Gospel Awakening is the best way to get the most exposure for your business. Whether you're in the medical field, sales, real estate, food, or ministry, make your business grow on the Gospel Awakening television show. For commercial information, call us at 984-239-8554 or visit our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Losing him is the hardest thing I've ever been through. But Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home is doing so much for my family, I can't begin to put it into words. And because we pre-planned with Steve last year, we ensured that all of his wishes are being met. I don't have to worry about anything. My family can relax at this difficult time and celebrate his life. Won't you give us a call today? We would be honored to provide you the trust, service, and compassion you rightfully deserve in your time of need. That is our promise here at the Stephen L. Lyons Funeral Home. Gospel Awakening is a viewer-supported television program, and here's how you can keep gospel television on the air for years to come. Send your generous tax-deductible contribution via Cash App to Gospel Awakening NC through PayPal to contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or mail your contributions to Gospel Awakening 4584 US 70 Business West, Clayton NC 27520. Thank you for your support. Here's how you can be the next talent on Gospel Awakening. Register on our website at www.gospelawakeningnc.org. Send an email request to us at contact at gospelawakeningnc.org or call us at 984-239-8554 and we'll register you in person. Let Gospel Awakening be the avenue that takes your ministry across the world. I hope you have enjoyed the interview today with Pastor William Beckton. You will be hearing more from him mm -hmm, yes. in the coming future. Absolutely. So be encouraged no matter what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and let me say this again. Uh, I enjoyed this with you also, Lady Deborah Jenkins Blackwell. Thank you for all you do. Oh, yes. I've enjoyed, I always enjoy being on the show with you, my brother. Now, thank you, my dear sister. And to all of our viewers, listen, this is how can you keep us rolling? Listen, there are several ways you can. You can cash app us at Gospel Awakening NC, or you can also go to our website and you can co contribute in that method through that uh, website as well. Or you can send a donation to Gospel Awakening 4584 U.S. 70 Business West in Clayton, North Carolina. Now, on behalf of everybody who makes this show do what it does, we'll see you all again next week. Next week. Bye-bye. Goodbye. So stand on your feet, lift your hands, and tell the Lord thank you. Thinking about giving up? Yeah. You thinking about walking away? <laughs> Let me tell you what I think. There comes a time in this life, things will get hard, can see the light. Life will make the righteous cry. Wake up every day, believe in God, we'll make a change. And there's pain, but still, but still you got to pray. Push aside this 
is what you ought to do. <laughs> Tell the law. Get a witness tonight. Stephanie, sing for me. supported by viewers like you. We hope you've enjoyed this program. And until next time, God bless you. I just want to sing you this prayer.